guys, it's Ross um, in part two of the British coinage series that I'm making, as requested by Philip Morrill. Yeah, again, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Um, right, so let's start with special edition coins that are released. Now, every so often the Royal Mint uh, produce these. They're called, I think they're called First Cover Editions. Um, as you can see, very shiny. Now, this isn't real, this isn't silver. Um, this is to commemorate the 500th anniversary of the of King Henry VIII's accession to the British throne um, in 1509. Um, they also released stamps in partnership with the Royal Mail, as you can see. Now, the face value of this is five pound, much similar to the silver blue. I haven't got any American ones, but I've got a, a Canadian one there, much similar to that. Um, that's worth five dollars. Our special edition, actually, it's the exact same size too. Um, but it, the, I, I don't believe it's made out of silver. Um, I have to check in fact, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's made out of silver. But uh, just uh, Henry the Eighth on that one, looking all big and fat. Um, and then the Queen. Obviously, the collector value is worth a lot more than the face value of five pound on that one. Um, as it's kept in its original packet. Now, moving on to like the coins we actually do use. Now, let's start. I'll start with the biggest coins. In America, you have one dollar bills. Now we don't have one dollar bills. The smallest uh, bill we have is a five, and I didn't have a five. We get, the bills that we have go five, ten, twenty, and fifty. Um, now, I didn't have a five hanging about anywhere. Um, because I tend just to keep, I tend, if I've got any fires, I just tend to swap them uh, with my mum or my dad, uh, just for coins, because they're easy to handle, or big notes if I'm paying for something. So, um, but that's what most of them look like. The uh, five pound note, sorry, the, yeah, the five pound note is green in colour. Ten pound note is a brown, as you can see, twenty is a purpley colour. And fifty pound note is a deep pinkish colour. But like I said, where you've, where you've got, um, the one dollar bill we just have the one pound coin uh, these are what we use today Ow. Uh, royal crest on the back the Queen's face this one's dated 2003 so it's not that old um, this is what we use every day today um, two pound coin we also have Which uh, has also got the face of the Queen, uh, much similar to the Euro in design. They they uh, stole the design of the Euro. Uh, the, sorry, the design of the pound um, when they uh, were designing the Euro, just for the sort of um, silver and the gold shape. And on the back, it's just got some weird talisman thing, uh, and just Queen on the front. Now, one interesting fact I just thought I'd share with you, and I'll get out one of the older coins to prove this, is every time there's a monarch on a coin, this is on stamps and coinage, they alternate in face wise. Now, I'm trying to think what king did that. Was it Edward, who was never actually crown king, but was still king? Um, on his coinage, he said he looked better from the right so he was going to stay as the right, but that's uh, George anyway. I, I don't want to get into history because uh, I'll go on for ages. But yeah, as you can see, they swap alternately. But yeah, that's the uh, five. That's the, sorry, that's the uh, two pound coin. Now, this is uh, I'm going to go down now. You've got the fifty pence coin, which is like fifty cents. Uh, not the wrapper, because I don't know anything about him. The uh, coin, uh, twenty cents. Uh, sorry, 20 pence there, you've got 20, yeah, 20 pence, 10 pence, 5 pence, where you'd have, um, I'm not quite sure, actually, you've got quarters and dimes, so you've got, is that a quarter? Oh, it's 5 cents, so, well, you've got 5 cents, with George Washington on the back, we've got this little coin here, it's quite a big size difference, um, I don't know what a dime is, is it? 
I might say on it. It's a dime five. I thought a dime was five cents to be honest. And a oh no, I haven't got any quarters. Sorry, I thought that was a quarter, but that's a. What is that? Oh, you confuse me now. You see. <laughs> Okay, right, I don't know what that is, um, but if you're in America, I'm sure you know. And then you have the two pence coin, uh, and then the one pence coin. But on the back, as you can see, they're all, they've all got the uh, queen on them. So that's pretty much it for um, British coinage and the coinage collection I've got. I've got some foreign coins. If you're interested in say, and, uh, seeing them, I'll always make another video and stick it up. But if there's interest, I'll make one. Just thought I'd show you as well, I've got um, my tube of Canadian maples arrived. Um, with the way the economy's going, I thought it would be better to have silver uh, than this rubbish. So, just show you. If you're wondering who this man on it, and the thing is, he's not, I don't think he's a, um, we have weird things on our uh, notes, like this little diagram here you can't really see properly. It represents the division of labour in pin manufacturing and the great increase in quantity it results. As you can see, very interesting. Obviously, on the back, you've got the Queen um, and you've got some shiny thing. Uh, also, one thing you might not know, if you hold a British thing up to the light, there's a £20 hologram and the hologram of the Queen's face. And there's a strip, like a metal strip, you can see, which runs just past the Queen's face. But sorry, back to the coin, back to the uh, coins. Now, I got a tube of 25 Canadian maples. Should have bought it a bit later, to be honest, because um, over the consecutive two days after I bought it, um, silver dropped about £2 an ounce. So I could have saved myself a, a uh, couple of quid. Uh, Canadian maple, just 2012. I mean, I'm sure you've seen them all before with the Queen's face on them. 99.99% um, .99 pure argon. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd uh, show you my newest purchase. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hope I haven't bored you to death. I uh, hope you found this interesting and, in, and informative. Sorry. Um, I try to keep everything um everything as short and sweet as possible um if you're wondering most of these coins aren't actually worth anything really um especially i mean the victorian ones are worth a bit but they're not worth that much most expensive coins are obviously the silver ones um and 50 pence coins aren't worth anything because um People still find them like under floorboards and stuff. Haven't been out of mint for, haven't been out of mint for sort of twenty years or so. So yeah, just thought I'd show you that. Um, just thought I'd share something else with you also. Uh, for those of you who might be interested, when I was younger, um, sort of eight to ten years old, I used to collect silver spoons. Now. This is an interesting one because the windmill actually moves round. Um, I think I've got about 50 of them, and they're all solid silver. Now, when I uh, when I bought them originally, I think they were. I think I probably paid like a couple of pound each. Cause this is what six years ago, maybe six, five, six years ago. Um, so yeah, like I said, I had the. I, uh, what's the word? Yeah, paid about a pound for them each. Um, God knows what they're worth now, because silver's just rocketed. So hopefully it'll go up to £40 an ounce, and then I can sell all my lovely uh, silver spoons for scrap, because I don't see them, and all that happens to them is they sit under a box under my bed, um, and go slightly damp. So, like I said, hope you found this informative. This will be the last part. Um, I don't think I've got anything to add. I think I've pretty much covered everything. Um, coinage wise so yeah thanks for watching um, and I will see you in the next video bye